let's go to the beach. It's a summer day. Let's go to the beach. Unless you're in um, Australia. I have a friend in Australia. She's talking about the winter weather. <laughs> it's summer here. 100 and something degrees. We're going to go to the beach. All right. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. One more for good measure. Deep breath in. And exhale. And allow yourself to just settle. Settle into your physical form. Allow your energy to neutralize. There's <coughs> nothing requiring your attention right now. Just be where you are. Sometimes during the guided meditation you get a little cold. Uh, there's blankets here. Does anybody need a blanket before we proceed? Raise your hand if you do. Okay, we're good. Fine. As you settle into your physical form, the part of you that is awareness extends beyond your physical form and is greater than your physical form. So bring that awareness to the bottoms of your feet. There are energy portals there that as you become aware of them and put your attention there, they'll open like the eye of a camera. And any energy that is unwanted, like judgment or stress or fear, discouragement, you can let that drain out. That's not who you are. That may be just something that you've been experiencing. Let it go. Allow it to just drain out like water out of a bathtub. And now bring the, your attention to the top of your head. This is your access portal to all it is, higher source. And as you bring your attention there, that also will open like the eye of a camera. As that opens, allow yourself to connect with that which is greater than yourself. All it is, higher power, source, God, Jesus, Spirit, Divine One, whatever you call that, reach for that. And as you do, merely just making the willingness to reach for that, you will feel a downpouring of this beautiful light of love. Sparkling light of love, living light. And let that pour into your head. And let that fill your mind, restoring faith, restoring joy, restoring compassion, restoring hope. Letting more and more love and light flow through you, through your body. As it goes through your body, allow that living light of love to touch your organs, every system, every fiber, every tissue, bringing love and light and gentleness and compassion and removing judgment. We even judge our own bodies. Allow this living light of love to remove that judgment and push it out the bottoms of your feet, pushing it deeply into the earth. The earth can receive this energy, it's just energy, and can translate that, transmute that into love and light again as it circles up and cycles back. Now close the bottoms of your feet and you're a vessel of light. More and more love and light pouring into your body. And the light now extends beyond your physical form out into your aura. Clearing your aura of any clutter of someone else's whining, someone else's disagreeableness, someone else's frustration. You can be clear of that. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and just feel how wonderful that feels to be clear. This is your divine right. 
This is your divine nature. Our human nature struggles with maintaining this, and it's okay. We make mistakes sometimes. Are they really mistakes, or are they just opportunities? We can let go of judgment of that as well and have compassion for the actions that we take. Ask to be guided by this living light of love that surrounds and fills you now. And allow yourself to find your way to a beautiful beach. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful blue sky, beautiful breeze. Sand is warm but not hot. And the surf is lapping at your feet. Delightful, just delightful. And as a wave comes up and splashes against your ankles, and you feel the water pull away from you, let it pull away from you any unwanted energy that might remain. Letting fresh waters lap up against your ankles and feel it pull away any energy that is no longer necessary for your joy and your journey. And as the water washes up again and recedes again, you notice there's something in the sand. This is a something for you. It's a divine gift that is here for you. Perhaps it's some symbolic object, perhaps it's sea glass or a starfish or some other shell. Or perhaps it's a symbolic object that is rather odd being here at the beach. You know that whatever you receive is just what is right for you in this moment, a blessing for you in this moment, and receive it with gratitude. Because that which is greater than you knows what you need and is willing and capable of assisting you and giving you this gift. Now we'll walk a little further along the beach and you will see a figure coming here to meet with you and greet you. Perhaps it's a glowing figure, a spirit of light, an angel or guide. or some spiritually religious figure that you have an affinity for. And as you meet this person, greet them with love and gratitude. And they too have a gift for you. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling or some symbolic object Receive that with gratitude as well. And as you receive that gift, even if you don't know what that's supposed to mean for you, as you receive that gift, feel the gratitude, the joy, the compassion, and the hope well up within you. And you realize you have a gift to give back. And you can give that gift to this being, and it will be received with joyful gratitude. And you and the being can walk on this beach together just a little bit longer, enjoying the day, enjoying the companionship, knowing that you do not walk alone. You have help, compassionate help. You are loved. And now it's time for us to return from the beach back into the Divine Fellowship. And you might wish to give a greeting to this being of light, thanking them for walking with you. You can invite them to walk with you in your life at all times. Or you know that you can come back here to this beach and be with them at any time. And as you say your goodbyes, make your departure, 
find your way back up the beach, back into your physical form, back into this time and space. I want to take a deep breath in and exhale. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Welcome back. I'm going to let you be with that for a minute. If you have any questions about that, I'll check back with you here. Mr. Phil, would you join me, please, sir? <laughs> is the camera still running? Yes, it is. I'm going to get it closer. <laughs> I could have worn Psychic Depends, but... <laughs> this is a this better, is better choice. This is a better choice. See? I have an edit button. Pray for me. <laughs> we are all one, and he is really one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You don't know what to say, do you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've kind of lost my train of thought. Okay, communion. <laughs> because we are one, we can commune with one another and commune with that divine source. So would you join me in prayer, please? Loving Spirit of Light, thank you for walking with us. Thank you for bringing compassion into our hearts in a greater measure. Help us to be mindful without worrying. Help us to be joyful without fear. These things we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Said not a word. <laughs> See, it okay. works. I felt it. <laughs> even with your even yeah. with the. I didn't have side flaps. Oh, that's. <laughs> Helmet. Yeah. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, help me. <laughs> Would you join us in prayer again, please? Loving Spirit of Light, as we drink this in, help us to drink in joy in all measures and in all forms walk with us in all things. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. And all this time, I thought Phil never listened. <laughs> Sandra, but you have to wear my helmet. No, she does not. She does not. It's funny how inspiration comes and you don't realize it in the moment. I need to share this. So I got the sharing bug, and so I'm going to share with you. A book that I'm reading, 365 Days of Walking the Red Road. The Medieval American Path to Leading a Spiritual Life Every Day. It's taught me so much, information-wise, but respect and appreciation for the Native American way of life. So today, for our offering, this comes from Chief Makina of the Nootka tribe. Once I was in Victoria and I saw a very large house. They told me it was a bank and that the white man, the white men placed their money there to be taken care of and that by and by they got it back with interest. 
We are Indians, and we have no such bank. But when we have plenty of money or blankets, we give them away to other chiefs and people, <laughs> and by and by, they return them with interest. And our hearts feel good. Our way of giving is our bank. So remember where your bank is. <laughs> you want to stay and help with the, if anybody has any Sure. Question something. Shall we dance? Okay. Does anyone have a question about their guided meditation? 